you guys, Short Stack Survival here, and today we're gonna talk about gun safes. Specifically, are there any good gun safes under 100 bucks? And which one should you choose? Let's find out. The original portable small safe that I purchased was the Sentry safe right here. I just wanted something that I could take with me when I vacation. So this has served me very well for many years, but um, there, <laughs> there's definitely some drawbacks to this. So uh, let me put in the super secret code. Okay. I'm gonna do the secret code. <laughs> One. So this also comes with a security cable here. I'll see what the 2021 price is for these or something similar. Harbor Freight sells Apache like hard cases and you can lock those. And so the, you know, with coupon, you can get those pretty cheap or you can use a Pelican case. It doesn't have to be an actual safe with a code on it. You could actually just have a lock and key. If you don't want someone accessing your firearm, then make sure it's in a secure location. There are a lot of state laws. We even have a new state law here in Washington state that uh, kind of dictates, mandates, you know, how you are to store your firearms and all that stuff. We could do a separate video on that if you guys are curious. Uh, I do know how to read state law. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not a lawyer, but we could go over it for sure. You know, at least uh, give you guys a ballpark idea of at least where to go and find that information and uh, how to interpret that. So, but recently at a Costco trip, I saw this uh, LifePod Voltec for $99.99. So basically just under a hundred bucks. And uh, we had actually, my brothers and I, we had bought one of these in rose gold, rose gold for my mom. She really likes it. It's been working really well. So I thought, hey, I'll pick one up, upgrade from the old century safe. So I kind of already know that I'm gonna love it, but I thought I'd do an unboxing. Those are super exciting. Uh, that way you guys can see what, what's included. I'm gonna get my huge tactical knife out. Got this for Christmas last year. And we're gonna open it up. So this is the Life Pod from vault Tech. It comes in black. There's lots of different colors that you can get on the website. Uh, there's a camo one that's really cool. Oh my gosh, I better put this away before I cut my arm. Safety first, just real quick, I'll go over, let's see what it says here. Built-in lock, water resistant, dust proof, it floats, it's airtight. TSA compliant, so 7.75 inches is the maximum handgun length that this can handle. You can store your passport, wallet, ID, phone, your EDC or your everyday gear, your medicine, and more. <laughs> Vault Tech wants you to trust it, wants you to lock it and load it. Included foam inserts, you get the carry foam or the pluck foam, travel organizer, takes a nine volt alkaline, not included, uh, one year battery life, rugged protective shell, rubber gasket, tether lanyard, dual compression latch, anti-lock picking feature, which I know there's lots of videos on how you can defeat these. I wouldn't worry too much about that. If someone is motivated to get into a safe, they're gonna do it. At least you tried. So anyway, let's just open this up. Don't know what that is. Security cable and the foam, the little lanyard. Here's the safe. I think that looks really, really nice. So as you can see, thickness there is definitely something to consider. So it is quite a bit smaller here and here. So, all right, let's see. Wow, that's... That's really, really nice. You could keep your copy of your concealed weapon permit. That way you always have it with you. And I like the orange, so. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of guns just to see what would fit. Uh, let's quickly go through here. This is a shield that fits in there really nicely. This is a Glock 17. Boy, that fits just 
perfectly. If you have a Glock 19, you could definitely fit that in there. In fact, let me show you how you could pull that out. That's the pluck and pull. And then if you just wanted to put it in like that, show you again that it fits in there just perfectly with a spare mag. This is a PMR 30. <laughs> I don't know how many people actually roll around with these in their waistband, but I just wanted to see. So this one actually is too big to fit. So as you can see, it's not gonna fit in there. Now this is my Smith & Wesson. MMP9 with a X300 and that's much too big to fit in there but that is a full size and I didn't really expect it to fit in here. I believe on the website vault has like LifePod 2.0 so that's something to consider. At the largest point it's about 6 and 1 8 and then at the smallest point it's about 5 and 7 8 Yeah about 7 and 3 quarter there and then if you want to see what my old one would fit. <laughs> Uh, just out of curiosity Glock 17 fits in there. <laughs> the foam's all old and nasty. And my full-size pistol would fit in there as well as the PMR 30. Just the fit and finish of the vault Tech compared to this old safe that I have is just uh, it doesn't compare so I think if I was gonna start carrying this every day I would probably just upgrade to the larger life pod. In terms of external dimensions, looks like it's about 10 and 3 eighths inches by 7 and a 1 16th. So it's still pretty thin as opposed to this big safe here where at the widest part we've got 10 inches by 8 and 3 eighths and then it's about 3 and a quarter tall and I didn't get that measurement here. But this one's only like maybe two and a quarter. So way, way smaller. And if you are interested in buying one of these, I'll see if I can find a link uh, to Amazon. Um, and then also if you have a Costco membership, that's probably the best way to go. That's uh, where we picked it up for under a hundred bucks. But um, yeah, I definitely would highly encourage you guys to store your pistols safely, whatever that means for you, everyone. Uh, lives in a different state and has different state rules and also your family's dynamic is different so if you have little kids you might be extra cautious versus if you live alone in an apartment or a house or whatever so so you know we're all adults here so just make the best decision for you I just thought I'd show you uh, my new little upgrade and I definitely think in conclusion if you guys were debating on whether to pick up like a cheaper safe like this or this I you know at this point I definitely would say go with the vault tech or you know there could be other reputable brands out there but this one just the fit and finish it's hard to describe on camera but this one is really really nice if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future videos mm -hmm.